Hey, what's up everyone? This is TOA Master Sun, and I'm going to do a quick, basic Halo Forge tutorial. See how it works, see if it's something that I could do a little more of in the future. We'll see. So, I guess the re basically the reason I was doing this is because I've gotten pretty good at it. I'm not the best, but I can't really find a lot of uh, tutorials or help online. So, basically to just kick things off, you want to select basic editing for your game type and select Forge World for your map and that is sub-map Forge World as well. So, that is the best map. It's a, basically a blank canvas as its description says and it only has three uh, initial things that you have to delete or get rid of their initial spawn points up in this hangar and I'm just deleting these right now now I hit up on the d-pad to switch to design mode and then I was just deleting those things by highlighting them with my cursor and pressing Y now I'm flying out to this island I'm gonna grab some real estate here near the waterfall and to go faster when you're flying you just hold left trigger and of course you move around with the left analog stick so I'm going to throw a couple buildings down here and that's under structure and buildings and I'm going to go with a couple of tall towers and to move those around I'm just using the left analog stick and here I am moving it into the ground with left bumper and then I spun it a little bit by holding right trigger and adjusting the right analog stick now you can also use the left analog stick and that just spins it on a different axis um, but you're gonna have to play around and get used to the analog stick controls yourself while you're holding right trigger I like to also edit coordinates though that's uh, a lot better when you're really trying to get detailed things to match up like two ramps or uh, you know a couple pieces of a bridge because uh, it's really hard just to get those things to line up with um, with left bumper and right bumper. So now I'm just throwing down a couple pieces of aesthetics. Throw an antenna on top of here. There's a lot of extra stuff that you can add in Forge World. A lot of cool decorations, um, weapons obviously, vehicles. You can do a lot. There's a... Uh, my most recent map I tried to make a map that was completely underground um, obviously it's not really underground it just appears to be underground when you're playing it so now I'm just throwing a couple of blocks down you know like I said there's plenty of stuff that you can use to decorate the landscape and create your map now now that we've got just a basic structure here I'm gonna set some spawn points and I'm gonna go to spawning and grab the initial spawn there and again you move these the same as you move buildings I'm gonna throw this guy down and change it to hit X to edit the details and put it on the red team and I did fixed physics there just because it was on a hill um, but then again I find myself doing fixed physics for spawn points a lot just because so I'm throwing the blue team right here and I'm only going to put one spawn point each and I'll throw a respawn point here and then another one back there at the other tower now these I'm just going to leave neutral from studying the other maps that the designers made um, all their spawn points are neutral on just about every map I've seen so far so Again, I'm just holding right trigger and spinning that with the right analog stick. Alright, so I've got a basic setup here. Uh, I'm also going to add a safe area boundary here. I'm going to use the soft safe boundary. And that'll basically... Um, well, before we do that, the, you can make it a cylinder or a square. And you just want to... I'm going to use a cylinder, set the radius so it surrounds the playable area that I want. And what this will do is, if anyone leaves that zone, uh, they'll get a 10-second countdown timer that says to return to the battlefield. 
so that's really important for setting the boundaries on your map because especially on this blank canvas called Forge World, it's huge. So you really need to know, you know, what you're doing and what your boundaries are. There's also kill zones, but that's an immediate uh immediate death. So you could use those where you see fit. Usually you'd use those when there's no floor. So if there's like a fight in the sky, a couple buildings in the sky or anything like that, and you fall, you would put a plane of a kill zone below that. So anyways, I'm just going to save the map here and, you know, you can name it whatever you want, all that good stuff. But that's it. That's pretty much the basics. If you go into custom games and try to play this map, it'll work as long as you enable teams. Um, if you don't enable teams, you're, you might be spawning all over the place if you're not on the red or the blue team. So, but if you have any questions, comments, please leave them on the uh, page. And let me know if you'd like to see anything more. I can do some other stuff. Or if you have any questions regarding Forge, submit them, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.